Hi folks, I've noticed that it's reported in the Daily Mail that Dan Wotton and Lawrence Fox have been suspended by GB News because Lawrence Fox made a comment on the grounds of, on the lines of, sorry, who would SHAG that referring to a female political journalist. Okay, it's not a particularly good, a nice thing to say. But at the same time, is it any different to what we hear on such as, um, you know, loose women? Where they've talked about who they'd have sex with. In fact, recently, one, you know, there was a an old clip where one of them were talking about wanting to have sex with Russell Brand. And I do think this is, uh, you know, I, I suspect, to be honest, if a woman had said something like this, it should have been allowed to. I think there's a bit of double standards there. I also think if somebody left wing had said it, they'd probably get away with it. Now, as for GB News, I, I think it's coming to the end. It doesn't feel it's that popular. Um, I mean, I've never been a huge fan of it. The early days, even sent them a, a, twi a tweet, actually, and I think they um, added a heart or whatever you call it, a like. As I said, you know, it's you're letting yourself down. I said with this set you've got, and I noticed that. I mean, I don't think they took in it. It would be because of me, but I noticed they seem to have redone the set so which they look a bit better, but still a bit dark. I mean, the early ones were dreadful; it was almost unwatchable. But as for Dan Button and uh, the other guy, I mean, they could do their own YouTube in reality. Um, but be successful. I mean, you know, you don't really need to work for a TV firm these days. Um, it'd be interesting to know why they did get rid of them. Apparently, there's been complaints or something. Or I don't know if Offgem, Offcom, or whatever they call themselves, is Offcom that deal with that. If they would actually sanction them or whatever for that remark, but it just feels. I don't know. It's all a bit sad, really, isn't it? Um, I mean, I, I support everyone's right to free speech. And I always encourage, I always say, listen to the other side. You know, if you, if you, if you conservative, listen to people on the left and vice versa. This echo chamber nonsense irritates me. It also irritates me a bit because the woman they talked about, I thought, I think the comment she gave wasn't particularly nice. But again, you know, one will for one, one for the other. Um, and I don't think, and I know people on the left will probably see this as a win, but I don't think it does. I think it moves people further away from the left because they just see it as irritating. But anyway... Um, we'll see, but as I say, I mean, if I was them two, I'd just go on YouTube and do my own channel. Why, why worry about? You know, you can't really be. Sus I mean, I don't know if they, it's in their contract if they come and do their own YouTube because sometimes you sign contracts and you're not allowed to. But you know, I just say fine, go do it myself and build up a bigger audience. Um, you know. Anyway, we'll see. Bye.